this week's Parsha, we find a list of the forbidden sexual relationships, which also includes the prohibition to marry a woman and her sister. And it states, neither shall you take a wife to her sister to make her a rival and uncover her nakedness beside the other during her lifetime. And this is brought down in Vayikra 1818. And Rashi learns from this phrase, during her lifetime, that if he divorces his wife, he is not allowed to marry her sister as long as his first wife is still alive. And Rabbi Hirsch notes that marrying the wife's sister is the only sexual prohibition which is nullified after death, and moreover, the only prohibition about which scripture states the reason to avoid making her a rival, and that word is litzor. Now, according to the Ranban, no reason was necessary to give for the prohibition of marrying a mother and daughter since the daughter comes from the body of the mother and the Torah therefore forbids marrying both even after one of them dies. Most of the sexual prohibitions mentioned in our parasha can never be permitted for they intrinsically contradict the order of creation as the Rambam explains Marital relations between the root and the branch between a man and his mother or his daughter are an abomination. Therefore, it is prohibited to marry a woman and her mother, the wife of the father or the son. And this is brought down the guide of the perplexed. However, marrying two sisters is not included in the abomination of cohabiting with the root and the branch, since both are on the level of branch. Why then does the Torah forbid a man to marry two sisters? The reason is out of concern for the sister's feelings. This only applies as long as both of sisters are alive. Now Rashi brings down that the word litzro in our verse is connected with the word tsara, a rival. Although a man in biblical times was permitted to marry more than one wife, the Ranban explains that it is not considerate to marry two sisters and cause them to become rivals since sisters are supposed to love one another. As the Sefer Hachinuk explains, my heart tells me in this matter the scripture forbade marrying two sisters, since the master of peace desires peace among all his creatures, and especially between those whose nature is to be at peace. And therefore there should be no strife and competition between them all day long. And the Harivash writes that the two sisters who are beloved to one another should not be set up against each other to cause jealousy and conflict between them. Even after a man divorces one sister, he is forbidden to marry the other, out of consideration that the other sister may become jealous when she comes by to visit. However, after death, discord and jealousy have passed. Then it is actually a mitzvah to marry the sister of the deceased wife in order that she may take upon herself the raising of her sister's children. Now Rabbi Mecklenburg explains that litzur means to link. And when a man marries two wives, he ties them together and makes them like one body through their effort to run the household. Just like items tied together cannot be separated without untying the knot that binds them, so are the wives unable to separate from one of the other without separating from their husband to whom they've been linked by marriage. Tying both of them together by marriage is called litzor. The wife's being attached to the other without being able to separate is called tzarot, rivals. And Rabbi Hirsch goes on to say that when people are tied together too tightly, it causes constriction and hatred. And so now we see that the same word means both to link and rival. And so the Torah teaches that a man may not marry two sisters, causing them to become rivals by tying them together in one marriage. Because of the natural closeness of sisters, the Torah is concerned that each sister has her own personal space to develop herself and receive the opportunity to express her own self individually. Now, while sisters will naturally love one each other, they also have the simultaneous inherent tendency to be competitive and jealous towards one another. The reason for this might be that we only become jealous of someone who we identify with, someone to whom we feel similar and equal. It is therefore not the nature of a woman to be jealous of her mother or daughter. Yet stemming from the same branch, the closeness of sisters can either cause burning jealousy or be the root of the greatest love and friendship. And the divine commandment not to marry two sisters during their lifetime shows the sensitivity and the nature of sisterhood. And it also shows Hashem's consideration for women.
If you would like to sponsor or share for the Ilu Nishmat or the Rafu Shlema success or Panasa or blessing for you or a loved one, please contact me at gimeldalit777 at gmail for details. You can follow this series, A Woman's Worth by Devorah Esther, on YouTube at gimeldalit777. Click subscribe to be notified. If you've enjoyed this video or know someone who would, please share it. Siku Limitsvot.